Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to clear the samples that you use in your songs or beats? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro. What's up, it's your boy Skill from SkillMusicSA.com and welcome to my channel where I share information with my fellow South African musicians to help them improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing as I do have other videos I think you'll find informative. In this video, I plan on explaining how to clear samples that you may have used in your songs. The very first thing is what the heck is sampling or what's a sample? In a nutshell is when you take an original song performed on a CD or online somewhere, you cut it and then you use it in your song. So basically, who has to be clearing the sample? Well, it depends on the usage. So if you're making a beat and then you sample and then that is the final product that is earning you revenue, then the beat has to be cleared for the sample that's being used. But if you're selling this beat and then artists are going to be jumping on this track, then the finished product has to be cleared of the sample. So in a nutshell, whenever there is another finished product, the finished product has to be cleared for a sample several times. So if the beat is a final product and the songs, both of them have to be cleared. But if the beat is being used for songs, then just the songs have to be cleared. The reason behind this is because the content of the song actually changes the whole meaning of the song. So the beat with just the sample doesn't necessarily give the meaning of the potential song that will be there. But let's move on, how to go about clearing your samples. You also have to understand that a song is made of two parts. The first half has to do with the composition. The composition is basically the melody, the lyrics, the tone, basically the song that in written form. And then the second half has to do with the sound recording. This is when the composition is sung and performed and recorded into an audio form that you can hear via mp3, or wave, vinyl, etc, etc. If you're sampling, it's important to clear the sample with the composers, the composition side, and the recording artists, the sound recording side. So it is very tricky sometimes when you have two separate parties that own these rights and the one does give you permission and the one doesn't because you cannot use that song. But it's highly important that you get clearance on both sides of the song. A lot of the time you will find that an artist owns both sides and I've only cleared samples when an artist owns the recording side and the composition side, but it becomes a little more tricky and a lot more admin work when the sound composition and the sound recording are separate owners. So how do you go about finding the owners of the composition and the sound recording? So the sound recording, the information is usually very easy to find. You basically use your app, Shazam. Shazam will tell you who the artist is and basically from there, you do a lot of research work. You go into Google, you Google the song. If it's a popular song, you should be able to find the information on a website like Wikipedia. So simply put, you find the sample, you identify who the main performing artist is, you find the composer, you find the recording artists, they probably will be publishers and record labels involved. Then you have to individually go to those entities that own the rights and ask, if this song, how do I go about clearing the sample for this song? So I'm actually gonna do a dummy version of how I would go about clearing a sample. Basically, I try avoid popular songs because dealing with record labels and publishers, you'll basically be left with nothing. So I try to work with independent artists that is a lot easier to get the right. So I'm gonna to go to my PC to show you basically the research work and how to go about finding the composers and to find the artists for each song. What's up? So the very first thing that you want to do is we want to identify who the song belongs to the performing artist. So I try, if I know a song already, then like if it's a Whitney Houston song, so I'd open an app such as iTunes and then I'll go to Whitney Houston. I'm trying to think of a song that would be used in, but I can't think of one off the bat right now. Okay. And then when you are in the song, I want to dance with someone. So you click on the three dots and then you see the song info. Basically, these are the composers. As you can see, I don't think any of those people are Whitney Houston. So she, this is an example where the composers are different to the songwriters. Okay. Uh, the composers, sorry. The composers are different to the recording artists. And this happens a lot when you're sampling a big song. So this will be a trickier one to try clear the sample of. Okay. So let's take the title, the song name. And then there's a website I like using called Discog. Discog.com, I think it is. Basically, Discog has a lot of famous songs where they break down who owns what. No, that is not Discog. 
Uh, what's a Discord website the name? No, Discogs. Discogs. Yes. Yes, discogs.com. This is that website. And then once you're in this website, you simply just type in the name of the song. Uh, I didn't copy it. I want to dance with someone, yeah? I want to dance with somebody. I want to dance with somebody. Yeah, and then you have to try find the correct version of I want to dance with somebody. I'm just going to click with this first one, see what it says. Okay. I want to dance with... Yes, yes, yes. This seems like a... You make sure that it's the correct original release in 1987 this 1987 version and then you have to double check which version this one this is the 1987 version no, yeah this is the 1987 version so you're on the right track you scroll down it also gives you this different versions there's 64 different versions of the same song so you better be careful that you find the right one okay and then Okay, single max promo, single, 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 single US 87. How would you go about it? You find out that clearly the record label is Arista. So from here, you could basically go straight to Arista. Um, let's see if I can find my version. There's a lot of versions. So if you're in South Africa, that's probably the version that you're listening to. And then... You click on this top one or the bottom one. You're probably going to want to listen to it before you run away. Yes. And then this is the version that shows up on my Apple Music because my Apple Music is South African based. Okay. Oh, no. Did I just close this code? Okay, there it is. So this is the LP. And then you scroll down and then this gives you all the people that are involved in the song usually. Okay. Copyright, the record label owns this. Phonographic copyright, the record label. So you might as well go straight to the record label. And then from there, you can just right click, say new tab. And then this gives you a breakdown of the record label. It's a unit of BMG Entertainment. This is all the information that you really need to find it actually. You can either contact BMG, which is the high, it's higher up, or you can try contact Arista record labels. So, Arista record labels. And then there's the record label. Now you have to try find out their website if they have one. This is uh, the record label might not be owned anymore. But it seems like it's owned by Sony 46 years ago. Background. If you use Wikipedia, Wikipedia will tell you what's going on. Uh, Whitney. Yeah, Whitney Houston was part of the record label. Uh, I think I might be going a little too fast. Yeah. Arista Entertainment. There's no contact detail don't sell my content send this feedback well you you're gonna have to go to the mother company sony bmg it's gonna be a lot trickier to get permission if you're not big already so that's how you go about finding a popular song um if the song does not show up on discog then what skill you may ask okay so it's a little trickier then so i haven't found a song in the states that doesn't pop up in discog that i've sampled yet so hypothetically you just search the song um uh wherever I live. that's my home that's my home there's a song by marvin gay wherever i lay my hat so these are the composers but you must realize that if people are releasing back in the day when they were releasing songs, most of the time it was through a record label. So you're going to have to most of the time go through a record label. But if your song is a South African song, you can use the Sam portal to find the composer. And then you can probably contact the composer themselves to get the record label side of things. They might be able to give you a direct contact. It depends on how you approach, etc, etc, etc. But yeah. 
um, another way to find the composers is to go to the PRO. So there's two PROs in the States. It's ASCAP or PMI that I know of anyway. Um, and then you just simply repertory. That sounds like it. You click on ACE repertory for ASCAP and then you put in the title. You can see that I tried to find a song called Samson. Samson by Regina Spector. I've used this sample before. So she's not, the problem is if she's not part of ASCAP, then you have to find the other side. So let's do the disco way. The Samson by Regina. Regina Spector. Yes, here's the song. I used this one. The Begin to Hope. Tracklist, tracklist. There's Samson. And then over here, you can already see recorded by, mixed and mastered by, published by. This is the publisher. So you simply highlight the publisher name. It's going to be a little tricky to try get through. So let's click on the Wikipedia site. Major label. Oh, it's actually is the major Regina Spectre. Oh. Producer us. Huh. And then you want to try find the contact information of the record label. So, yeah. Wait, that was the publisher. Yeah. Yeah, that is the publisher. Recorded at, recorded by, who owns the public copyright? There you go. Sierra Records, okay. And then you do the same things. You're gonna have to try contacts, Sierra. They never put their contact information on their website, so it's a little trickier to find. So you could probably tweet at them. Hmm. I found that when you tweet at people, they generally respond in terms of conditions. But now where is the, okay. Once you find the copyright, you could actually click on here. And then if the, the contact info, so they are in New York somewhere and then you'd have to try find a ways of getting their contact details from there. So getting the contact details is a lot trickier because people don't want people just randomly send them emails because that's the nature of the world right now that you could easily tweet at them and see how they respond. Say records will own the uh, sound, sound recording site. So you still have to find out the composer site and Discog actually showed that. Credits. So the composer site is typically owned by the publishers and the record the record side, the song, the sound recording side is owned by where whoever says copy, copyright, which is typically a record label. So those are the two halves that you'd have to cover every time. If it's a famous artist, get the publisher and the record label. They usually own 85, the record label usually owns 85% anyway, publisher owns 50%. So that should give you enough, um, enough of the percentage to go ahead. Those are the two halves. But if it's a small time independent artist, then you can go directly to the independent artist. I've only cleared samples where I've used the independent artist. And if it's a South African record that you are sampling, um, let's try find Brenda, Brenda Fass. Quite a lot of her music is in here as well. But you have to find the songs, the albums. In Discogs, it's really easy to find you search the artist and then on the left hand side you try to find the single or the lps to relate for mom i've actually sampled this as well and then you click in there and then it will tell you published by this is the publisher there's two publishers hmm. marketed actually this is all german owned this is very interesting actually But anyway, I digress. It's it's very nice to see where these things were recorded at, perhaps for your future. But these are the owners of the songs. 
So if a song is not on Discogs, then it's a little trickier. As I said, you're going to have to find who owns the publishing publishing is also the composition side so if it's a south african artist you can try use the sample portal i'm not going to go into that right now because this video will be 20 minutes if i do that and then you find who owns the copyright which is the record sound recording side anyway that concludes this video i hope you found it informative and if you did please hit the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell as it notifies you whenever i release a video i also have a whatsapp group where i share weekly information to help my fellow musicians i do not spam i said once or twice a week information that i think you will find valuable but that concludes this video and until next time skill again do again sign up